Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss another very important topic under microeconomics. As you know, monopoly, its meaning and also average revenue and marginal revenue curve of a monopolist. Very important topic. University question paper repeat to say the in the area and the monopoly market. Okay, SA 5 mark, two mark, very interesting idea topic. This is a technical side of keywords then concepts. It is very simple to deal with this topic. We will score a full mark. Okay, and the plan is to cover the R section of this topic. That is why we have a single video. We have a monopoly market in the law part of the company. We have a single video item uploaded. Okay, now here, what is monopoly? We can expect a question. Uh, similarly, how can we price out the equilibrium price and equilibrium output of a monopolist? Okay, using MZ and MR approach and so on. Then here another interesting area, you know, meaning, types of monopoly and uh, characteristics or features of monopoly, short run equilibrium of a monopolist and also long run equilibrium of a monopolist and what are the major differences between monopoly and perfect competition and so on. Okay. So in this part, we will consider meaning and implications and also AR and MR of monopolist. Okay, so here I would like to see monopoly that is actually come under non-competitive market. Okay, please note this one. Non-competitive market. We know perfect competition that we have clearly discussed. And also discussed the shape of AR, MR and also total revenue with the diagram and so on. Please watch all these previous videos. Then you can easily understand this area in a lucid format. Okay, so here you know monopoly that is you know non-competitive market because you know a single seller and he is not facing any competition or no rivalry at all. Okay, the market entire market dominate with a single seller on the monopoly. That is why we can simply say monopoly that come under non-competitive market. Why? There is a single seller or there is a single producer. Here, firm is equal to industry. Firm in the demand curve is the industry demand curve or market demand. Then, as you know, imperfect competition. Imperfect competition means all those market structure other than perfect competition is known as imperfect competition. Please note, you can expect a two-mark question. Or you can add this topic in our introduction part so imperfect competition you can just uh, add the market like you know monopolistic competition monopolistic competition and also oligopoly isn't it monopolistic competition and oligopoly that is actually come under imperfect competition and monopoly it is also a little bit you know imperfect competition but no competition there that is why monopoly that come under non-competitive market and another interesting point you can just understand you know monopoly that is actually derived from two words that is monos and polyne both are derived from greek words greek words isn't it that is you know greek terms like monos which means single or alone or alone and polyne means you know to sell that is mono and polyne that resulted you know in monopoly which means single seller that point is very very important okay single seller who dominating the market isn't it the entire market is controlled by the monopoly firm or the monopolist with his unique product in which there are no close substitutes that is the beautiful part of monopoly okay in the real world we can see some extreme cases of monopoly especially under government sector like you know railway or in kerala we can see kacb kerala state electricity board and so on okay 
then now we can simply note what you mean by monopoly okay you can give this definition and the exam point of view you will full mark score and but in the reading on the structure either to learn see monopoly is a market structure the recombola get an a is a market structure in which there is a single seller we have already mentioned then there are no close substitutes for the commodity isn't it no close substitutes but substitute goods from tea and coffee tea will occur then we will demand coffee but even in the monopoly market in the unique product where we can see there is a single seller and also there are no close substitutes for the commodity it produces and there are barriers to entry isn't it we will discuss the features of monopoly in the coming video but here you can see monopoly market in the two pradana patta moon features on a definition of the meaning it includes you know three important features that is there is a single seller one feature and there are no close substitutes for the commodity second feature and third one you know there are strict or high barriers to entry obstacle or barrier to entry where you put the other firm in a industry like can and the baron career that is a firm that constitute an industry i'm going to have industry in the body man on a group of firms on but monopoly in the body in the market in the two million protect them down a i'm a career that is a single firm single firm that constitutes industry okay then industry in the body in the down a single firm on canada market today we can see there is only a single seller who controls the entire market okay then monopoly normally discuss aim of the extreme case uh, we can simply say pure monopoly pure monopoly that is you know we will discuss all these points pure monopoly he actually controls 100 percentage of the market 100 percentage of the market no rivalry at all then uh, another term associated with monopoly we can see monopoly power this is also very interesting monopoly power uh, in legal perspective we can simply say the monopoly power uh, uh, that means you know if a firm controls at least 25 percentage of the market share this is the keyword 25 percentage of the market share then we can simply say that firm is retaining monopoly power okay in the real world we can see this type of uh, monopoly power and also pure monopoly where we can see hundred percentage market share which is the extreme case of monopoly and private monopoly government monopoly or public public monopoly then bilateral monopoly uh, symbol monopoly discriminative monopoly we will discuss in the coming video under types of monopoly okay now another point is that you know what about the average revenue and the marginal revenue curve of a monopolist okay now we're going to five mark expect a other wallet short run and long run equilibrium discuss a chain but number of focus a chain and area on it see if we can simply write down first the demand curve of the monopolist okay demand curve of the monopolist here you can you can see all x axis that is quantity okay then oy axis we can see price then the monopolist faces a downward sloping demand curve this is very important downward sloping demand curve which is negatively sloped from left to right what is the implication for example you can see this is the quantity and output suppose this q is the output level and p is the price level okay now suppose uh, the firm desired to increase the price from p to p1 suppose this is the new price then what will happen his output will be declined his output will be declined to q1 isn't it but will a put up a firm in the name price um other ball a level of output of a ray for a control a particular dominate to say a particular i'm a current monopolist is a price maker no doubt but she 
എക്സ്ട്രീം കേസിലേക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല ഉയർന്ന വിലയും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സെയിൽസ് മാക്സിമൈസേഷനും ഒരുമിച്ചിട്ട് ഡിസൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ മൊണോപ്പിളിസ്റ്റ് കഴിയില്ല സപ്പോസ് അവർ ഫോം ഇസ് ഡിസൈഡ് ടു ഇൻക്രീസ് ദ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഫ്രം ക്യു വൺ ടു ക്യു ടു ദൻ ഹി മസ്റ്റ് റിഡ്യൂസ് ദ പ്രൈസ് ടു പി ടു ഓക്കെ സി മൈ സിമ്പിൾ പോയിന്റ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ മൊണോപ്പിളിസ്റ്റ് ഫേസസ് എ ഡൗൺവേർഡ് സ്ലോപ്പിംഗ് ഡിമാൻഡ് കവ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഡിമാൻഡ് കവ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ആവറേജ് റവന്യൂ കവ് ഓഫ് ദ മൊണോപ്പിളിസ്റ്റ് പ്ലീസ് നോട്ട് പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോസിൽ ഇത് നമ്മൾ സിസ്റ്റമാറ്റിക് ആയിട്ട് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് പ്ലീസ് വാച്ച് ഓൾ ദീസ് വീഡിയോസ് ഓക്കെ നൗ വി ക്യാൻ ഡ്രോ ദ ആവറേജ് റവന്യൂ ആൻഡ് മാർജിനൽ റവന്യൂ കവ് ടുഗദർ